Hello everyone, welcome to the new year. I don't know why, but I just feel like today is a red day and I just feel like putting on some makeup and adding at least something red in there and that's what I'm gonna do, so let's go! So first I'm gonna start off with just a primer and I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I'm just gonna put this all over my face to smoothen it out because I've been kind of breaking out on my forehead here and I just wanna smooth over that area. And of course, just all around the face, smoothing out the pores that I have. Of course, I can't forget the nose. Today's look is going to be more on the cool tone side, so I'm going to use this brow pomade that's closer to my eyebrow hair color. So. And this is uh, like an ash brown, or an, a dark ash brown, so I'm going to be using this for my eyebrows. Okay, so now that I've completed my eyebrows, I'm going to go in with this Airbrush Flawless Foundation by Charlotte Tilbury. And I'm going to use this it's full coverage, of course. So I'm just going to use my regular method of putting some on the back of my hand and then using my finger just to dot the foundation. Since I have a little bit, I think I'm just going to take the rest on my neck. Today's a relatively okay day for my skin. I don't have a lot of breakouts, so luckily I don't have a lot of blemishes to cover. But because I still have rosacea, I do want to go in with a full coverage foundation since this look is not going to be very blush heavy. And now I'm going to go in with the Beauty Blender just to blend everything out and make it look a little bit more smooth. Okay, now I'm going to go in with some contour, and I'm going to be using my trusty Essence Contouring Duo palette, and um, yeah, I'm just going to mix the two and then just, you know, contour, chisel. I don't know why. I don't know why, but I've been really enjoying using like an angled fluffy brush for doing my contour. And now I'm just going to contour the areas that I feel contouring. I always contour my hairline just because my hairline is so jagged like I got a widow's peak here and it just looks so strange to me and I don't really like that so I contour around this edges and make sure to get up in the hairline so it's not clockable and not too obvious. Sometimes what I do to um, not make it too harsh is I just blend out the contour and I kind of pat it around on some skin, like on my arm usually, just so when I apply it and you don't get that first initial like, ooh, like you put way too much, because I have definitely done that so many times. So now I just kind of just blend it, out, blend it out and put it on my arm first before applying, because I just feel like it makes it look a lot more uniform and you don't get like too much product on your face because sometimes that can be really hard to blend out. I gotta get this double chin, of course. If I want anywhere with strong contour, it's definitely my double chin. First, I usually like to stipple it on and then I'll just kind of move it up a little bit. And I follow like where the hairs are so I don't go against the brush strokes. I go with it and keep contouring my double chin and I usually like to do a very subtle contour around my temples and now going with a clean fluffy brush um, I'm just going to blend out this contour and make it look a little bit more seamless a little bit more not noticeable For doing my nose contour, I like to go in with a smaller angled brush, and that's just to get up in here and in the corner, so I'm going to do that. I always like to start off here, like right next to my eyebrow, and where it meets.
I made it a little strong, but that's okay. I'll just spend a little bit more time blending everything out. I feel like this is a signature of mine, but I also like to bring the contour over here to create the illusion of like a more sunken in hollow eye. And then I'll kind of just bring it up a little bit just to lift the eye a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to take this fluffy, a smaller fluffy brush and then I'm just going to blend this out. So that's contour done using um, Juvia's Shade Stick Foundation and I'm going to be using this as a highlight. Okay, so I'm going to go against here and this is just to create some contrast from where I put in the contour. I feel like this just makes my nose look a little bit more snatched because it tends to have a shadow. Since my nose is a little bit on the bigger side, that's where the shadow tends to be. So that's where I'm gonna put in some highlights. Sometimes I like to highlight this area, like right behind my nose, or I mean right next to my nose. Don't know why, I just like doing this. And I'll put a little bit just going up here. So I gotta highlight this part of my forehead. This is always the trickiest part for me because I do not have very steady hands, but doing down the line contour is gonna be a little tricky for me. It always is. It's never it's never a straight line when I do it. Okay, now I'm gonna take my beauty blender and I'm just gonna blend this out. Okay, now going in with some blush, I'm gonna be using the Lancome blush I have here. And I'm gonna put a very light amount because this is a little bit more on the pigmented side. See, like I barely tapped it and there's already this much pigment, so. I'm just gonna start from the corner of my eye here. Just kind of pops a little bit. I'm gonna take it out a little bit over here. Okay, now I'm gonna wipe off the brush and then I'm going to just try to buff this out. I'm gonna go in and mattify everything down with um, a powder. Because the foundation's already so matte, and I'm just gonna go in with a light veil of powder just to kind of blend everything in together. And I'm going with a very, very light veil of powder too because my skin is dry. It's time to move on to the eyes, and I'm not going to be doing anything too crazy today, I think. I'm just going to be using the ColourPop Give It To Me Straight Palette. I'm going to start off with the transition color. Oh my gosh, it's creasing. Ah. Okay, so now I'm going to go with the transition color and I'm just put that all over my lid. After I put the transition color on my eye, I'm gonna go in with the same color and just concentrate a little bit more a little bit more on the outer eye and then I'm just gonna work my way inwards. And of course I'm doing like the outer V thing. And then I'm gonna blend out like the outer corners. And then I'm going to take this very light pink shade right here and I'm just going to put that in the inner corner or just like on this part right here just to kind of soften up the look a little bit. And now I'm going to take the darkest shade right here and I'm going to put a, just a little bit on the outer corner just to add some dimension to the eye. And I'm going to start off very slight. I'm going to literally just dot right here. 
you can already see like all the pigment coming off now I'm gonna brush off the excess because it's with these dark colors it's really easy just to overdo it so I'm gonna brush it off with my hand and then I'm gonna blend it out And just to get it closer to my lash line, um, um, because I feel like this looks more natural of like creating dimension, I'm just going to do this. Just kind of to create the illusion that it's like my lash line is just slightly darker. And then I'm going to take a small like little angled brush here and I'm just going to mix the transition color and that dark brown color very, very slightly tap off all the excess product and I'm going to bring it a little bit on to the under eye. Do you see what I'm doing? Oh my gosh, I keep looking off, I'm sorry. Okay, now for um, the lower part right here, I'm going to add some red. And because I don't have anything red i mean i do have some one red eyeshadow but it's very light it's more like an orangey red and i want something more of a true red so i'm going to take this lipstick this is the lancome one uh in the shade red ho hot hot h-a-u-t-e i think it's french and then i'm just going to just dab in the brush a little bit like this kind of just work it and then um i'm gonna just kind of blend it out on my hand a little bit just to make sure I don't have like excess product and then I'm gonna bring a little bit on this part right here right here it's kind of tapping I'm just placing it right now So this is what it looks like right now and then I think I want to add a little bit more pigment a little bit closer to my lash line and because this brush is a little bit too big it's a little bit too fluffy I'm going to take a really small dense brush tap it on the lipstick and I'm going to apply it really close to my inner like this lash line right here so And I kind of want to fade it into my eye, into the middle. Then going back to the brush I used, I'm going to tap off a little bit of the product. And I'm just going to blend this out. Just ever so slightly, I'm going to blend it out. Not too crazy. I don't want it to go too far out. I feel like I went a little bit too out here. I'm just going to take this little brush. I kind of just make it look like it's cut off a little bit. And then I'll go back in with this brush and just kind of blend it back out. Okay, so now that's done, I'm going to do some wink liner and of course I'm going to use black. I kind of wanted to do a wing like this where it kind of goes up a little bit and I'm going to try to replicate it. Sometimes what I like to do to fill in the lash line because I can't really use a pencil liner because my lashes are too thick and also I get like watery eyed as I just kind of use this and I kind of just dot in just to fill in some places, just to make the eyes, the eyeliner look a little bit more closer to um, my lash line. And of course, I like to make the liner here very, very thin and as close to my lash line as possible.
Okay, so now I finished the eyeliner. I'm just gonna put on some mascara. I don't really think I wanna do falsies. I'm gonna use the mascara. This is the Telescopic Mascara by L'Oreal. And I'm using this one because I wanna add more volume to my lashes. Oh wait, first I need to curl them. My lashes are so straight and they actually like kind of point downward. So if I just go in with a mascara, you can't even see it because my lashes will be pointing just straight down and it's really annoying. So, gotta curl them. Oh no. Previous mascara on the curler kind of just smudged my eyeshadow, but I'll see if I can fix that later. Actually, no, I'm gonna fix it right now because it's really bothering me. This is probably a sign that I need to clean my eyelash curler. If my lashes ever get clumpy like this, um, I like to grab a spoolie and then kind of just brush them out. And just at the ends too. Oh my gosh, there's so much dog hair on this. Oops. Anyway, I'll just comb them out and I just comb them from the ends. I don't really go from the bottom. I just kind of do this. Just to break it apart. Something strange about my eyelashes are that not only they face down, but they also face different directions. Like, they're kind of curled sometimes. So when I put on mascara, some, it's like kind of hard to prevent clumping because they kind of just like cross each other a lot. But this is the best that I could do. Okay, now it's time for the lips and I'm going to use the NYX Powder Puffy in the color Pop Quiz. And this is what it looks like. And I'm just going to put this all over my lips. Um not really gonna do much anything crazy I'm just gonna add this on If I don't want like a really strong border, I'll kind of just tap it in with my finger just to soften it up. And I think the makeup look is finished. Oh wait, no, I almost forgot to add highlight. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I almost forgot about highlight. I'm gonna highlight, of course, and I'm gonna take this shade Tardy in the Whatever palette by ColourPop and take this shade and I'm gonna put it in my inner eye corner. Put it right here in my inner eye corner. Now I'm gonna take this shade, um, this one right here by ColourPop. Oh, you were this one, and this is the Give It To Me Straight. This is, I think, the color up front, and I'm going to use this to highlight. It's a really pretty highlight shade. It's like not too cool, it's not too warm, it's like more on the neutral side with just a slight golden undertone. But that's really pretty. Now I'm gonna highlight my nose and I think I'm just gonna do it a little bit right here. Slightly on my, on the tip. Okay, now I'm gonna add some pencil liner and I'm gonna put this on the outer corner here. Okay, and that's the finished look. I hope you guys like this makeup look. Bye.